Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about my top 10 perfumes. So if you guys do not know, I am such a perfume like a lover. Every single day I wear perfume, even if I'm just chilling at home. So I wanted to tell you guys my top favorite perfumes. Um, if you guys do want more of these top videos, then definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And then also don't forget to subscribe before you go. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Okay, so first off, I'm not going in any particular order. Literally, I just have them all sprawled out, sprawled out in front of me. Um, but the first one that we're going to talk about is this Michael Kors. This is a sexy amber perfume. And this is what the bottle looks like. But I'm just going to leave some prices here for you guys too. So we have, usually I get the like one ounce perfumes. And this one is $68. And some of the notes that I want to tell you guys, my perfumes, I tend to feel like they go a little bit sweeter, but I also do like some of those muskier perfumes too. But the notes on this, we have amber, sandalwood, and jasmine, and this style is warm, seductive, and scumptious. But this smells so delicious. Like, this is like an OG perfume. I constantly repurchase this one. There's like nothing left in here. A lot of these are like repurchases. I'm just obsessed. Next up, we have another Michael Kors one. This is the Michael Kors Wonderlust one. And don't mind the bottle. Um, For some reason, I feel like this bottle kind of like tarnished, which is really strange. But I really, really love this perfume. Um, You guys can see I'm like almost halfway through this one. We have the one ounce, which is $72. I'm looking down at my phone just so. So, um, I can get the prices right but this one is a warm and spicy perfume and the scents in here is um, we have warm and sweet gourmets and the keynotes are almond cream and dianthus I'm not even sure what that is not even sure what that is but this one is definitely a lot warmer um, I would probably wear this one more so at night versus the sexy amber I feel like you can get away with during the day because it is a little bit lighter. This one's a little bit warmer, but still smells amazing. Next up, we have another perfume, which I wear during the day, like literally all the time. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Perfume. Now, I used to have more of the Marc Jacobs like line perfumes, but this one is honestly my favorite. Once I first smelled this, I was like, oh my God, I need it. First off, how cute is this packaging? I think that this is like adorable. I'm somebody who likes to kind of display their perfume bottles because I think they're just really really pretty so um we have a 1.7 ounce of this which is 86 dollars and the scents on here is floral so like when you immediately smell it it does smell like very flor florally very flirty very light but this one um is definitely floral like a warm floral pretty sweet um the keynotes in here are crystallized cloud berries daisy tree petals cashmere musks and driftwood i feel like i can smell some of the cashmere in here this just smells so good this is like literally a perfect every single day perfume really light really flirty just really like sweet i'm definitely somebody like i said who veers more on the sweeter side of perfumes but um yeah i really like this and I think the packaging is so adorable too. Next up we have a perfume which I am obsessed with originally not even gonna lie I got it because of the packaging. How freaking cute is this? I'm obsessed. I like I said originally got this because of the shape. I feel like it's cute and then that's it. You take a little heel off, heel off and it's the actual like sprayer but this one is really really good for the evening this one's definitely more like a muskier like flirtier seductive perfume um the one ounce of this is 70 dollars and it is a warm floral sort of scent but it definitely is a lot deeper rather than the wonderless one the wonderless one i feel it's a little bit lighter and the good girl i feel like it kind of just has a little bit more must to it but the keynotes in here are two tuberose jasmine and tonka beans but i really really love this and one of the quotes that like i constantly think of whenever i reach this is like give a girl a good pair of shoes and she can conquer the world literally that's how i feel with this like this perfume just gives you such like a, that power sort of feel i really really like this and I really think the packaging is adorable all right next up we have ralph lauren midnight romance 
and you guys could see I'm almost like halfway done with this one as well but we have the 1.7 ounce and this retails for a hundred and five dollars this one is pretty sweet too it doesn't really have like floral scent I feel like it's a little bit more sweet this one has pink peonies rich black vanilla yeah and it has a very like feminine smell I could definitely smell the vanilla in here yeah and it also has like a raspberry sort of smell I don't know it just smells like really like fruity really fresh um, and then very sweet as well okay and next perfume which I feel like everybody always talks about is this YSL one this is the YSL Libre perfume first off. I love the packaging really really cute Um, you guys could see I'm not even halfway done, but I really love this I feel like this is just perfect for all day every single day But the 1.7 ounce of this retails for hundred and six dollars This is a floral scent which I definitely do pick up and it has the keynotes of a lavender essence orange bloom and musk I feel like I could definitely smell a little bit of that musk but it's not as deep as the other perfumes that I was talking about. Yeah, I feel like the packaging of this is just like really stunning too. You have like the gold detail here and then here too. It's really pretty to just like stand and kind of just show off. A lot of the perfumes I feel like I kind of gravitate towards the packaging then also the product itself. The next perfume that we have is the Versace Bright Crystal Perfume. This one is really pretty too. This one I think was one of my newer ones that I did purchase. The one ounce of this retails for $60 and this one is definitely more of a florally perfume. I haven't worn this one in a minute. This one's more of a florally perfume. I feel like definitely more special occasion at least for me. It doesn't really smell that sweet hence a special occasion. Um, this one has the yuzu lemon sort of smell and it also has peonies and a little bit of musk too I feel like I smell um, more of the musk on here but it smells like really really warm I really like this again it's more of that special occasion perfume if I'm going on a job interview or something like that that's probably where I will wear this I don't know it kind of just gives me that like powerful like musky sort of vibe I feel like when I want that like powerful moment I usually go for more like musk perfumes even date night I feel like this would be really nice um, but other times I usually go for more of that sweet everyday perfume. The next perfume that I'm going to talk about is this YSL Mon Paris perfume. I actually got this because I smelled this in some magazine and I just instantly fell in love with it. Bottle's kind of like, eh, kind of boring, but it smells really good. Also, all these perfumes last a pretty long time on me. Usually when I spray perfume, I'll do one spray like right on my neck and then I'll take my wrist and kind of just dab at it i usually don't apply that much but it all smells amazing this one is definitely more of a warm for warm floral for me but some of the notes in here we have strawberry raspberry pear orange flower jasmine white peonies white musk cedar wood and crystal moss and this one they describe it as a passionate sensual and sophisticated perfume i usually i definitely get that sophisticated vibe you guys could see i'm not even halfway i'm like right about here but again a lot of these perfumes I don't spray that much I just do one spray and kind of use it all over my body but this smells really good definitely that sophisticated vibe which I like the next perfume that we're going to talk about is the Lancome La Vie Esta Belle perfume so we have a 1.7 ounce and this retails for $99 but I think that this smells amazing so first off I really like the packaging it looks really really nice um, this one is a warm and spicy perfume. Yeah, it definitely is warm and spicy. Perfect for date night. I feel like it smells delicious. Um, this one has the scents of warm and sweet gourmets. And the keynotes is iris, vanilla, and praline. This one I feel like also has more of like a sophisticated scent to it. I love it all. This one is definitely not sweet. It definitely is more of the floral, sophisticated, sort of date night, at least to me, kind of a vibe that I'm getting. The next perfume that I'm going to talk about, I feel like I could not find online. I smelled this again in a magazine and I was trying to find it everywhere, like Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, everywhere. And I could not find this specific one. I found the original Angel, which is like the blue star, but this one is pink. I think that the first off the packaging is like super adorable, but a little, a little difficult to store because you have to store it like laying down like that instead of up like this, which is usually how I store my perfume. But um, yeah, it was really difficult to find this, no lie. I went looking everywhere, could not find it. Um, I think I found this on Macy's, like I think it was Macy's, I don't know. It took a while to find it, but I'm very happy I did. And because it took so long, I feel like I don't really wear this perfume that often, but I love this so much. Okay, so this is the Angel Eh Cruz 
Sarah. I don't think I'm saying that right. So I'm going to put that on the screen right now. On the website, that actually goes for $135, which is pretty pricey. I did not pay that much for this perfume, but this smells so good. So this one is definitely more of a fruity, flirty sort of scent. Um, the scents in this, a splash of mango, black sherbet, and grapefruits. These notes mellow into a dry down of pralines imparting a scent that is sweet and sexy and yeah so i again i really can't find that much on this perfume it really does smell very flirty very fruity and a little sweet uh not really as sophisticated as let's say like this ysl one that i was just talking about but it smells really good i'm a huge fan i was on the hunt for this for like the longest and i feel like this is a perfume where i reach for it has to be like a super special occasion but i really do like this and even again the packaging is just beautiful but yeah, I feel like this was a really, really quick video, kind of just giving you guys the price points, the notes and stuff like that. But I hope that you guys did find this a little bit helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more of the top sort of videos, definitely leave me a comment down below. What do you guys want to see next? I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe before you go so you can be part of the ATFB fam, ATFB, all things fashion and beauty. And if you hit that post notification bell, you will get notified of all my future uploads. I usually do upload every Tuesday and Thursday but I hope that you guys are doing well and I will see you guys in a few days in my next video bye